All right, so today we have a full day of eating on the menu. We have Ryan Casey behind the camera. We're gonna show you guys something a little bit different though. All the full days of eating I've done in the past, obviously it was only me. So I'm gonna show you guys two perspectives. Today we're gonna show you guys the dirty bulk, which is what Ryan's doing, and also the lean bulk, which is what I'm doing. And really quickly, I just wanna kinda go over the benefits. Like before we go grab our first meal of the day, it's like probably like one o'clock right now we woke up, or I woke up kinda late. So the benefits of a lean bulk and the reason why I'm doing the lean bulk is just because I've done a dirty bulk in the past and and I just wanted to stay lean this year, you know what I mean? I, I didn't want to get all the way up to 200, 210 pounds. I just want to stay lean, just keep, keep my face a little bit leaner, and I just didn't want to gain a lot of body fat. And when you're lean bulking, you'll still gain muscle mass optimally, you'll still gain strength optimally, you can still stay full. Certain days I'll eat a little bit more than others, and then I'll do a little bit of cardio to make up for it. But basically, I'm just not getting, letting my weight get out of control is what I'm trying to say. The benefits of the lean bulk are basically you're not going to gain too much fat and you can still gain a lot of strength and you can still gain a lot of muscle mass not doing a dirty bulk. And another thing is a lot of you guys, if you don't have a super fast metabolism, you're not going to be able to get away with the dirty bulk without gaining like an incredible amount of fat. So yeah, I, I track my calories at 2,700 calories. So I'm going to show you guys what a day of eating looks like for me right now. And then, yeah, we're also gonna show you guys what Ryan's doing as well. All right, so I've never like actually like dirty bulk before. I've always like lean bulked or stayed like maintenance calories. So for the past five months, I've literally just been at like 180. And you know what? I was like, I gotta make the goal. I gotta hit 200 pounds. I just gotta do it. That's gotta be my goal. So basically what I did is like looked at my kitchen and started eating everything. Like I don't really track anything. I kind of just try to eat as much as I can throughout the day. I'll wake up, have, literally as much food as I can in every single meal and obviously you're gonna gain a lot of fat obviously depending on your metabolism but for me my metabolism is a little lower so I have been getting a lot of fat but I've also been gaining a fuck ton of strength so it's actually been really beneficial for me and uh, yeah all right man Tell them what you got. Tell them what you got. All right, so, all right, wait, wait. Oh, stop, stop the romantic music. All, all right. right, so we went to like one of the best pizza places. Around there, yeah, Carlucci's. And I got like two different types of pizza. I don't even know what. He just we have some in. grandma's pie right here. Pie. And then we have some bacon chicken ranch right there. And then we got shown what's in the extra bag. <laughs> and then I got a pint of tonight dough. That's oh, like a staple. You already know, you already yeah. know Ryan Casey tonight dough. You and guys then, got a sponsor, uh, Ryan. Dude. I might get in contact with them. And then some sea salt and vinegar chips. Sea salt and vinegar. Boom, and this boom, is, boom, boom. This is one meal. First that's, meal of the day. Yeah, that's literally his first meal. That's probably <laughs> all the calories I can eat during the whole day, so I'm kind of jealous. All right, and then for me, we have um, a crispy shrimp. We have crispy salmon roll right here, sushi. And then I got two orders of just plain tuna. This has kind of been like a staple in my... Uh, in my diet right now just because the tuna there's a shit ton of protein in there there's still protein in these two right here but um a little bit more fat so i can't get as many as this get as much of this but um yeah we're gonna kill this right now put some soy sauce on it and then yeah i think we're gonna head over to the mall actually because ryan wants to get some new shoes so yeah, shoes we'll see you guys in a little bit Boys, so we just got to the mall right now. Me and Ryan, we came here because Ryan needs one, an SD card, and two, a new pair of shoes because he's been wearing those red ones for a while. He said he just wants to get a new pair. A bunch of girls just drove up to me in a car and told me to take their picture, which was, it was pretty weird, but I took their picture anyway. I think I'll put it up right here. Pretty weird, but uh, yeah, anyways, I don't know. What is that? Wait, what, what is, what is that? Ryan, man. Adidas shoe heaven right here. You getting these, bro? Mom? Bro, it's a shoe, dude. Dad? It's a shoe, It's a dude. phone. It's a shoe, dude. It's a shoe? Yeah, it's I'm, a shoe, like, I'm, I'm trying to call. I'm trying to call. Are you actually? Yeah. What do you think? I fuck with these. Let me see. What do you guys think? Comment below. Oh, but bro, I see gray and black back here. I don't know. But you can still match that with anything. You can match that with anything. You can still match White it. White shoes are like... I fuck with these, but are they NMDs? They're are they are... They are N no, no, these are NMDs. They're NMDs? Yeah, the R R2s. Yeah, these are the new model NMDs. I say right. cop. I say cop. Right. Uh, this hat is $5. Am I literally stealing this hat if I purchase it from the store for $5 bills?
All right, so we got the shopping done super quickly. I got this hat just because it was literally like five dollars. So I was like, why wouldn't I buy this hat? Ryan got my cop in the phone. There's a hat in here, bro. Come on, bro. They want to see. It. 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 Whip it out in public. Whip it out in public. All right, all right, all right. Yes. yes. Super hot fire. Yeah, these are sick. Yeah, I normally only walk like white vans. Yo, so. take your shoe, bro. Take your shoe. Go, go to the selfie wall so I can get a selfie. All right, all right. Selfie station. <laughs> got, it. got it. Got it. But anyways, we both got for our pre-workout meal. We got these shakes from a place over there called the California Fruit Baked and Yogurt Shack. So yeah, we're gonna enjoy these. It has banana, mango, strawberry, coconut milk. Um, what else is have in there? I don't know. A lot of fruits, a lot of good stuff. Probably like three, 400 calories. So we're gonna kill these. Then yeah, we're gonna head over to the gym in about an hour. So I'll see you guys in a little bit when we go take our pre-workout. Hopefully we're gonna get Ryan to take a bunch of pre-workout for no reason. So yeah, we'll see you guys then. All right, so we're back with another pre-workout meal. It's currently around 8.30 right now. We both took a pretty long nap. We were just super tired because so we didn't get that much sleep last night. So what we're gonna do is two scoops of protein right here. This is just two scoops of normal whey protein for my protein. And then I also have a Chobani Greek yogurt. And guys, by the way, on a lean bulk, Chobani is your best friend. And yes, I'm a basic white girl and I have the pumpkin flavor. Oh, and there goes that, all right. Then I'm also, Ryan's asleep right now, but I'm about to make him one of these because he told me before we went to bed he wanted a protein shake, so I'm just gonna make this, wake him up so he can drink it and then we can go to the gym. Um, but this actually isn't out yet in the United States, but it's my protein's um, my gainer, so it has a shit ton of calories in it. This shake for two scoops has 800 calories, so Ryan's gonna do that because you guys already know he's on that dirty bulk life. You guys can see I haven't really been eating anything like crazy shitty or like broccoli rice chicken every meal i say this all the time but enjoy yourselves while you're on a lean bulk when you're on a dirty bulk obviously you get to enjoy yourself but when you're on a lean bulk you get to still enjoy some foods like i get to have some yogurt um this morning i had one really big sushi meal that was amazing um had a smoothie so you can make it fun so you guys can make it fun definitely don't kill yourselves trying to eat like just a bunch of tilapia and really boring crappy foods. If you guys have any questions about certain foods, comment down below and I'll let you know what I think of it, how much of it you should probably be using, how much of it you shouldn't be using, um, and that type of thing. So yeah, right now we are gonna drink these shakes up and then probably head over to the gym within the next 30 minutes. So yeah, I'll see you guys when we head over to the gym. So I just woke Ryan up, I gave him his protein shake and he's basically super, super tired so he's not trying to come to the gym, but good friends guys they don't let their friends sleep too long in the dirty bulk and miss a meal so i woke him up he drank the shake down but he decided that he wasn't going to be coming to the gym with me just because he didn't get a good night of sleep last night he was traveling all day yesterday i literally just i can't blame him for that um and i think he trained not yesterday but really late the day before so it is what it is he's not feeling it right now so he's gonna chill at home but i'm about to head over to the gym i have legs today three sets of six on the squat after a heavy single so we're gonna go do that i'm not gonna go super heavy tonight just because if you guys saw my last video you saw the deadlift that i did um i went super super ridiculously heavy on the deadlift so we're gonna head over to the gym we're gonna kill the workout sip it on this white monster real quick and then we are gonna come back home, pick Ryan up and get a post-workout meal for me and the last meal of the day for him most likely. But anyways, we're gonna go kill the workout and I'll talk to you guys after. Hey, what's up? James, not to put you on the spot here, right? Uh -oh. But, but James, a lot of people are curious, right? They're curious as to where they can get certain pre-workouts at. And I tell them right rock bottom, but they live certain distances away is there a chance I can put a phone number on the screen and they can order things from rock bottom? Yeah or no? Yeah or nay? I suppose so. Suppose so. All right, let's go back here and look at what we have. With my friend, yeah. actually I have a little story for you, Jane, a little story time. So basically my friend who is, um, my friend, he plays lacrosse. At he came in and he bought the Enraged and literally he got like insane results from it. Like he got so much stronger that they literally like all of his coaches like pulled him into the office. They're like, are you taking steroids? And like they, he obviously like he wasn't, he was just taking that, but he like never took a pre-workout before. So what? He has it and there's like five grams in there, I think, right? So yeah, it helped him out a lot. Yeah, but we're gonna put the screen, we're gonna put the phone number up on this screen. If you guys want any James pre-workouts, 
call the number. Hey, it's what I did on the took myself away. It's true, you don't know me, rich. Alright guys, so that 455 probably looked pretty easy on camera, but just my hips and my knees just feel snapped up and super tight from that sumo deadlift session. So I'm gonna listen to my body and I'm gonna do high bar pause squats for my three by six instead of doing what I planned on doing, which is gonna be 405. So gotta listen to your body, but yeah, we're gonna jump into two, some pause squats. Probably just gonna do 315. We're ready to get this workout over with. Say Just got to Applebee's a little bit ago, and the first thing that we got right here is some salads. Right, is this the first salad that you've eaten? Yeah, I don't, I don't know, years. dude. Like when it came to the table, it's kind of foreign to me, bro. Well, it's a Caesar salad, so it's pretty much a bunch of fat. But yeah, we're gonna enjoy these, and then I'll show you guys when the main course comes. You get, bro? I got no. Okay, I got chicken, no bourbon, chicken and shrimp with some potatoes right here. Um, just to get some protein in here, a little bit of carbs on the side. Just did a leg workout, so you gotta have a decent amount of calories after that. This is gonna be my last meal of the day, and then let me show them what you got. Right oh here. my god! All right, so so you got something fancy. Try to explain to them what this is. All right, it's be so hard. fuck. Do you know what it is, bro? It's chicken. Uh. Chicken. <laughs> chicken tenders. All right, so all. he got some chicken tenders. So the reason why Ryan's meal right now isn't like massive is because this morning he literally killed like pretty much a whole pizza and that pot of Ben and Jerry's. Yeah, so when we say dirty bowl versus lean bowl, that's like what? Like that whole pizza plus the Ben and Jerry's is probably like That could have been like at least 2,500. That's like at least 2,500 plus like everything else he's had. So yeah, I mean... That, that's where the dirty bowl comes in. But yeah, we're gonna enjoy this right now. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. There's gonna be a lot more stuff coming on my channel with Ryan, and we're also gonna be doing some stuff for his channel, which I'm gonna link down below. So go subscribe if you're not already. And yeah, tomorrow we're gonna be going to New York, so we're gonna be doing a lot of fun stuff there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.